Okay guys, welcome to another video. Today we're going to be working on this 2008 Toyota Matrix XR and we're going to be replacing the front brake, brake pads. Um, here are my brake pads from AutoZone. I paid $30 for them with lifetime warranty. And what that means is that next time that I want to, I need to replace my brake pads, I can just take the worn pads to them and they get they uh, will give, give me new ones without me paying them those $30 again. So that's what lifetime warranty means. So without any further ado, without blah, 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 blah. Let's get right to it. First, let me go ahead and jack up um, the car and put some jack stands underneath. And let's go ahead and inspect the brake pads. Yeah, it looks like the the material it's um it's getting worn out. Uh, let me bring the the, the flashlight for you guys. I don't know if you guys can see, but let's take them out. I'm gonna go ahead and remove these two, this, these two caliper bolts, one here on the top and one at the bottom. And maybe I can just get away with uh, just removing, maybe loosen this one a little bit and removing the bottom one. Uh, there it is, completely. And I'll be bringing the caliper up this way. And then I'm gonna have to push in the, the piston so, can, so the new brake pads can go in. Okay, let's do that. All right, here's my, my other tool, a 14 millimeter wrench, ratcheting wrench, just so that makes your life um, your work a little easier. All right, let's go that way. Loosen it up a little bit, let's do this one. All right, out is the first bolt. So let's, let's go ahead and remove the caliper. All right, here's the here's the first one out. Notice how it's cracked as well. Um, let's take a look at. Let's compare with the new one. So it looks like this one's a little bigger. Um, there you go. So this this goes in the outer part of the disc brake, and it looks like the, the big the big one is gonna go in the inner part of the disc of the disc brake. So let's compare it. Notice how thin the old one was getting. See that? Okay. And what I like to do is I, can, I like to put uh, some anti-seize on here on this part so it won't squeak as you press on the brake pedal as you as you drive. But first I need to push in the, the piston rod. Okay. 
in so you can make space for the new brake pads. Let me go ahead and do it. All right, let's continue. Let's continue. Um, I got this tool over here that's gonna help me retract the, the piston. Um, so, in order for me not to mess up or um, crack the piston lips, I'm gonna put the old brake pad like this. And I'm just gonna use this tool like that. And not like that, but this right here. And it will help me push in the, the piston. You just gotta get it the right place. And as you turn it, the piston should be going in. And of course, it has to go in. Until this part, it's all the way pushed in. And of course, we're gonna get dirty. Oh. Don't be afraid to get dirty. All right. Ooh. All right, you guys see that? How the piston went inwards, got pushed in. So that way, Always inspect the, the brake pads. Remove the inner one. Notice that the inner one has this piece right here. This piece, what this piece does is whenever the the brake material gets too thin, this will eventually hit the the inner part of the disc brake, and it will, that's when you will be hearing the squeaking sounds as you press on the brake pedal. Um, let's see, let's see. Where they go, where they go? And Something's wrong here, guys. All of them look the same. I think I replaced this piece right here. Because they did not bother putting it, sending it to you. Oh, they're gonna get some
You know what I think? If you take your carts to a local mechanic shops, they won't bother putting this on your brake pads. There'll be times that when you're doing jobs, you will get annoyed. And the key here is to have patience. Patience. Now it's secure. Tight. Got it. Time to put the caliper in place. Fits or I'm gonna have to push in the piston more. Ow. Good. Perfect. Looks like the bolt is in good condition. Good shape. Raining soon, so I gotta hurry up. One important thing that you have to do after you finish installing the your new brake pads is to um, go inside the car and pump in the, the brake pedal a few times. In so in order for the piston to get. In, into place with the new brake pads and you feel it inside the the car that the, that as you press on the brake pedal the first time it will be it will go all the way in but as you pump in the brake the brake pedal eventually the brake pedal is going to come a little hard on you and once that happens that means that the car is ready to be to be driven or I should say, make sure, well, make sure this, tie this up really good. <clears throat> that should do it. <clears throat> and 
and I, I can actually go inside the car right now and pump in the brake pedal for you guys so let's go ahead and do it I'm gonna do it by hand notice how it goes all the way down but it, as you pump in the brake up oh, there it is it got hard once again so this is important guys to do this uh, 